you have already reached a very important part of your Ansible journey. You will learn about playbooks, those files that are blueprints of your Ansible management framework. And these are the blueprints of the operations that you will do on your managed machines. I've prepared a simple environment for you. The inventory consists of two separate groups with the three machines we have. And the simplest playbook file that consists of three elements. The first one, the name, is optional, but I encourage you to use a name for your playbooks for clarity. After that, the hosts directive will tell the playbook against which hosts from the inventory will the playbook run. I use it here the all default group. Afterwards, the tasks directive will tell the playbook that the following tasks will be run sequentially. The first element of the task is the name and afterwards there is an Ansible collection, the Ansible built-in followed by the module that we are calling. Let's see how to run an Ansible playbook. It happens with the Ansible playbook command. The, the dash i followed by the inventory name will tell the inventory for the playbook and afterwards we have to type the playbook file name. If we hit enter then it will run against the all group that contains all of the groups inside the inventory. Let's see the output. Now we successfully run the simple playbook against our three servers, two groups, and the ping command, the ping module, run successfully. Let's analyze the output of our first playbook run. The first line will be the name of the play. I forgot to mention that a playbook can contain one or more plays. Then the first thing that Ansible will do is to gather information about the systems it runs on. Then it will run the task sequentially that we have configured in our play on every machine in the inventory. And later there is a play recap from which you can know important information about the playbook run. It tells you if it was successful or not, were they unreachable hosts, failed hosts or not, or did it change something or not. Let's see a little bit more advanced playbook. The following playbook will contain two different plays. The first play we run on the Deb Machines group and the second one we run on the RPM group. Let's see how does it look. As you see, Ansible starts running the first play. It runs against the two machines. Afterwards, it runs sequentially the second play and runs against the RPM group. Ansible playbooks can be very simple and you can go till a very complex playbook. I've prepared an easy to understand but a bit more complex playbook for you. This playbook will install Apache and PHP on the dev group. Because we are installing packages, we have to use the became true directive because we need privilege escalation. I present here to use variables inside the playbook. It is not the best place to put variables, but it is possible and as a beginner I'm sure you will try to use it. The tasks are very simple. I run a cache update on the apt after 
I install the Apache 2 package. I reference the package name from here, from the variables. And after that, I enable the Apache 2 service. Then I install the PHP package. Here is an interesting thing that I mentioned before, but you haven't seen it in action. I notify the restart Apache handler here because handlers will run if the task changed on the host. So if it is a fresh installation of the PHP package, then Apache will be restarted or in this case reloaded on the server. Let's run this playbook. You can see that the Apache 2 package was installed on both the Ubuntu and Debian machines. Then the PHP package was installed on them and because we installed the PHP right now it changed so the restart Apache handler ran. This Ansible run is totally idempotent. You can run it again and it won't change the system if you did not change the playbook file or the variables. Let's see if I run it again. As you can see, because all of the packages were installed and we did not change the configuration, because of this, the handler did not run. Because the file is starting to be more complex, I decided to create a GitHub repository for this. So I'm going to insert the link in the description and on my site and you will find the playbooks and other files under these directories.